ever wondered who first dared to challenge the Earth-centered view of the universe? Let's jump back to a time when the prevailing notion was the geocentric model. A model that placed our Earth at the center of the universe, with all celestial bodies revolving around it. This was the accepted truth, the undeniable reality for centuries. But then, amidst the intellectual dust of the 16th century, emerged a figure who would revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. His name was Nicholas Copernicus. An astronomer, mathematician, and a polymath, Copernicus was not just another scholar of his time. He was about to turn the known universe on its head with a model that was as controversial as it was groundbreaking. He called it the heliocentric model, a concept that dared to place the sun, not the earth, at the center of the universe. So, what was this radical idea Copernicus proposed, and why did it matter? Imagine a world where the sun, not the earth, takes center stage. Welcome to the dawn of a new perspective, a radical shift that turned the universe as we knew it, literally, on its head. This is the world of Nicholas Copernicus, the 16th century mathematician and astronomer who dared to propose a heliocentric model of the universe. In this realm, the Sun reigns supreme at the center, and the Earth, along with other planets, orbits around it. A simple yet profound shift. It's like swapping the lead actor on the grand stage of the cosmos. But why did Copernicus propose such a drastic change? The answer lies in the elegance of simplicity. The planets in our night sky don't move in straight lines, but instead they weave complex patterns, looping back on themselves in puzzling retrograde motions. The ancient geocentric model, with Earth at the center, struggled to explain these strange dances in the sky. The mathematical gymnastics required to predict these motions were becoming increasingly convoluted. Enter Copernicus, stage right. His heliocentric model offered a simpler explanation for these celestial ballets. With the sun at the center, the planets, including Earth, followed predictable circular paths. The perplexing retrograde motions, they were merely optical illusions, resulting from our changing viewpoint as Earth itself moved around the sun. This model was not only simpler, but also more accurate in predicting planetary positions. And in a universe governed by order and harmony, it was a compelling argument for the Sun's central role. Yet it was a perspective that was not immediately accepted. The heliocentric model was a radical departure from the established belief that Earth was the center of the universe. It challenged the very foundations of our understanding, shaking the ground beneath our feet, both metaphorically and literally. But why did this shift in perspective cause such a stir? That's a question we'll delve into as we continue our journey through the cosmos, guided by the light of the central sun and the mind of Nicholas Copernicus. With the sun now at the center, the universe was never the same. Let's delve into that a bit, shall we? The heliocentric model's impact on science was nothing short of revolutionary, particularly in astronomy. It was as if someone had thrown open a window letting in a rush of fresh air. Suddenly, there was a new perspective, a new way to understand the cosmos, and it was fascinating. The planet's movements made sense, the seasons had a logical explanation, and the universe at large seemed less of a divine mystery and more of a beautifully intricate machine. But, as you can imagine, this was a radical shift in thinking. The heliocentric model didn't just challenge existing scientific theories, it challenged deep-seated beliefs and traditions that had been held for centuries. Remember, this was the 16th century. The church was a powerful institution, and the geocentric model was deeply ingrained in religious doctrine. To suggest that Earth was not the center of the universe was, in a sense, to challenge the very foundations of society. And so, the resistance was fierce. Traditionalists clung to the geocentric model, vehemently opposing the heliocentric theory. Religious institutions feeling threatened launched attacks on Copernicus and his work. He was accused of heresy, his books were banned, and his name was smeared. It was a tumultuous time, fraught with tension and conflict. But despite the opposition, the heliocentric model slowly but surely gained acceptance. With time, more and more scientists began to see the truth in Copernicus's theory. They saw how it explained the universe's workings in a way that the geocentric model simply couldn't. And so, bit by bit, 
the heliocentric model became the new norm, the new way of understanding our place in the cosmos. So Copernicus shook the world, moving the sun to its rightful place and paving the way for modern astronomy. It's an incredible story, isn't it? A single man challenging the status quo, forever changing our perspective of the universe. It's a testament to the power of curiosity, of questioning, and of daring to think differently.